I was growing up, I always wanted to be a mom someday. But after I got married, I remember hearing a lot of young mothers tell me things like, life with kids is chaos, or your house will always be a complete disaster and you just have to accept that. After seeing a lot of examples of defeated or chaotic motherhood, it actually took me a while to get up the courage to start a family. But as I began to study God's pattern for Christ-centered mothering, I began to catch a vision for something more. The Bible says that a godly mother is clothed with strength and dignity, that she smiles at the future, and that he intends to build her into a joyful mother of children. God's intent is for children to bring beauty and strength into a mother's life, not misery and chaos. That doesn't mean that everything will always be perfect or that life with kids will always look like the cover of a Pottery Barn kids catalog. I vividly remember the season when our four kids were all ages four and under. Three were in diapers at the same time and the youngest two were born only seven months apart because of an adoption and a pregnancy that happened very close together. At times it was loud, it was messy, and very overwhelming. But even during challenging times like those, I've learned that when I invite Jesus Christ into the center of my mothering, I don't have to accept defeat or despair. My book, Set Apart Motherhood, offers biblical, practical encouragement for young moms who, like me, are raising young children and desire to bring the principles of set apart, Christ-centered femininity into their mothering. In this book, I share some of the most important spiritual and practical lessons that God is teaching me about Set Apart Motherhood. Things like how to apply the power of prayer to my motherhood challenges, how to build my home into a sanctuary of peace for my family, how to find strength and stamina for the daily demands that I face as a mother, establishing a healthy routine for my family, sharing the gospel with my kids and teaching them the principles of godly honor, cherishing my kids and building lasting memories with them, and keeping my relationship with Christ and my marriage a priority even with young children. I'm certainly not a perfect mother with a perfect house and perfect kids, but I am committed by God's grace not to settle for anything less than His pattern for my mothering. Being a set-apart mother doesn't mean being perfect, it means surrendering to the only one who is. When Jesus is in His rightful place, Motherhood can be beautiful, life-giving, hope-filled, and victorious. I hope you will join me on this exciting journey toward set-apart motherhood.